this came about by wanting to actually take pictures of live cells without involving any kind of media that would harm them and doing it in such a way that we could follow motion in, in real time. It's a 4D platform because 4D technology came up with a camera that enables you to get four different interferograms at the same time and it's multiplexed onto the camera pixel by pixel basis using polarization. Well, I looked at that and said, hey, I want to apply that to biology. You can pull phase contrast, differential interference contrast, bright field, optical height. You can pull different microscope procedures all at once. Yes, we can. What we've done is to take that technology for the phase cam and apply it to a phase measuring microscope using a Linux objective. And we can adjust the path length and we can adjust the tilt of the sample and the focus of things to be able to get a nice phase measurement. What we added to it was a different kind of a source that enables us to have a short enough coherence length but also a long enough coherence length so that we can be able to get speckle-free images and we don't get interference from reflections off of nearby surfaces and we can handle three or four tenths of a millimeter of dispersion with a cover slip and some liquid under it which is something that typical interference microscopes are not designed to handle. I am putting the sample on the stage and centering it. And this is just a human cheek cell recently removed from a human. Setting the exposure. What you're seeing is an interferogram and the flashing is caused by a little bit of vibration between this head and the stage. It's just a natural part of the interference. So you're just seeing motion there on a few nanometers. Here's a measurement of a, of a group of cheek cells. Here's the contour plot and we can look at the optical thickness at various different points within the cell and so we can see different kinds of organelles and nuclei inside the, the cell. We have a resolution here of about one and a half microns. Can you just click between that view and the phase contrast view? Ah uh, yes, I can. Back to the analyzed surface and look at the contour. So here we can see topographic plot. So we can pick our detail, we can pick our scale, we can, we can even change the, the color coding if we want. It's quite flexible in that way. 